Today I'm going to demonstrate a rotator cuff repair using the FiberTech SpeedBridge construct. Laterally, we're going to use the knotless swivel lock anchors, our workhorse anchor. Medially, we're going to demonstrate the self-punching 2.6 FiberTech RC anchors. These anchors have a fixed fiber tape with joined tails to simplify suture passing. This is a self-punching version that can be placed with or without a guide. You can utilize the laser marks adjacent to the bone for placement without a guide or laser marks more proximally when it is placed with a guide. This self-punching aspect is very nice because it simplifies the steps for rotator cuff repair. So here we have a right shoulder. This is a large rotator cuff tear. In my mind, this is a tear that's amenable to a three anchor medial row repair. And I like the FiberTech RC anchor because this allows us to place three anchors with minimal violation of the footprint. So we can maximize footprint contact area without violating the bone as much as compared to hard body anchors. Here's our anterior anchor placed adjacent to the articular margin through an ASL portal. Next, we're gonna place a middle anchor. We're gonna use a self-punching aspect of this to save steps. You can see the depth is marked on the inserter to confirm appropriate depth of placement. We can also set the anchor by gently pulling the tapes to bring the sheath up against the bone. Finally, we're gonna place our posterior anchor through a percutaneous portal. In this case, we will use a guide. A spinal needle is used to determine the adequate angle of approach. We make a stab incision to help introduce the guide. And now we're gonna reference the marks closest to the handle to confirm adequate depth of insertion. At this point, we have all three medial row anchors placed, and we have the option of incorporating the suture tapes within each anchor sheath. But in this case, we're gonna go with an entirely knotless construct. So we remove the suture tapes, leaving us with three sets of fiber tapes, one from each anchor, anterior, middle, and posterior. And you can see these are color coordinated to really help distinguish them in the joint. Next, we're gonna pass these sutures through the rotator cuff. So we retrieve a fiber tape out the lateral cannula this fiber tape has joined tails so that it can be loaded onto the scorpion and allow a single pass of both limbs simultaneously through the rotator cuff tissue. I like to pass from posterior to anterior. Once the suture is passed, we want to retrieve this out the same portal used for anchor placement. We'll then move to the middle anchor and pass the sutures in the same manner. Finally, we retrieve the fiber tapes from the anterior anchor and pass those through the anterior aspect of the supraspinatus tendon. Now we have all three sets of fiber tape passed through the tissue, anterior, middle, and posterior. Next, we need to cut the ends of the fiber tape to separate the two fiber tape limbs. We retrieve one of the limbs from the anterior anchor out the ASL portal the other limb is left out the lateral portal. We then need to retrieve one limb from the middle and the posterior anchor. We're first gonna place our posterior lateral anchor. We'll insert the punch to the laser line. The sutures are loaded through the eyelet of the swivel lock. And while hovering the eyelet above the socket, we'll remove all slack from the construct. We will then insert the anchor we use a fiber tape cutter to cut the sutures adjacent to the anchor. Now we're going to retrieve all the remaining limbs out the lateral cannula and place the anterolateral anchor. We we'll punch to create our socket. Again, all three tapes are passed through the eyelet of the knotless swivel lock. And with the eyelet above the socket, remove the slack from the fiber tapes. Once the slack is removed, we insert the anterolateral anchor. So here our knotless construct is completed, but we're going to assess the anterior cable. We want to reinforce that anterior cable, which is really important biomechanically. So we're going to cut those fiber tape limbs. And with this knotless swivel lock, we're going to retrieve the repair stitch and pass this through the anterior cable. Outside the shoulder, we're going to load the repair suture into the loop and shuttle the loop through the body of the anchor to engage the knotless mechanism within the swivel lock anchor. You see this is going to nicely reduce the anterior cable. 
And while tensioning this, I like to use an instrument such as a post cutter to provide a counter force to the bone or anchor as we tension the knotless mechanism. So here's our final repair viewed through a posterior portal. You can see we have three medial anchors taking out the two lateral anchors and a knotless construct. This construct allows us to get broad compression across the footprint, which is nice for a large tear such as this rotator cuff tear. Thank you.